everyone. This is The Jeff Cowan coming to you from thejeffcowan.com with my weekly podcast entitled Success in Professional Sales and Life in General. And you're going to notice I don't have a sport coat on today, and that's because I'm filming this in sunny Southern California where we are experiencing, as I'm filming this, triple-digit weather outside. It is hot, hot, hot. Even in the air conditioning, it's hot. So no jacket today, but I'm still working, and I'm working because i got a great podcast for you. Like I always do, I, I read your emails, read your texts, take your telephone calls, and I've had a lot of business owners and sales managers contact me with a big concern. And their concern is they feel their sales staffs are missing a lot of sales because they're blowing the first impression. Okay, they don't know how to meet and greet, essentially, right? And we've all heard that the first impression is the most important impression. So what I'm going to do between this week and next week is I'm going to give you eight steps that will ensure that, and it will put you on the path to making a great first impression. Now, i got to warn you before we go into this that these things are very, very basic. But it's a lot of times in selling that we miss the sale because we've gone away from the basics. And, I, and you know what? As a business owner, I have, so there's times with what I'm going to show you here today, I have to take my expert sales staff that I have and remind them of these things. Okay, So even though they're basic, they're extremely powerful. So let's just jump into the first few that we have here this week and get started. Number one, smile. Smile. I mean, we've all heard about the power of the smile. You smile at somebody, they smile back, right? It creates warmth. It creates automatic enthusiasm. It gets everybody excited and it puts them at ease. But you know what I see? I see a lot of salespeople that don't smile, especially those salespeople that are in places where people come to them. Retail places, you walk in and maybe a salesperson's been standing there for two or three hours in a, in a mall or, or a local uh, retail establishment, and they just look like they'd rather be anywhere but there, and there's no smile inside. As a matter of fact, it seems like many times they're more interested in getting you out of their place of business than they are getting you into their place of business and getting to do business with you. And you know, it's just not the face-to-face -face stuff. Whether you're face-to-face -face and people are coming to you or you're going to them or you're selling over the telephone or through a webinar and video, smiling is important. It gets you off on the right foot. And followed closely by that is number two, which is be enthused. You have to be enthused about what it is you're doing. You have to be enthused about your product, and you have to be enthused about talking to these clients if you want them to, in turn, be enthused, enthused enough to purchase your product so you get the commission. Now, I think what happens when it comes to enthusiasm is people get afraid because they think if they're over-enthusiastic that they turn into this guy. Hi, how you doing? By gosh, my day was crap until you got here to talk to me. How's it going? Now, I'm not suggesting you be that person, and if you are that person, it might explain why you're single. Okay, I'd never want you to be that, but what I'm saying is, is you've got to be enthusiastic about what it is you're showing and, and, and what you're talking about if you want others to be enthused as well. I don't care if you are in a situation, going back to the retail thing, or where, even when you're making telephone calls, where you've had a big dead spot in your day and you've not talked to anybody in a while. You, you've got to get this smile on your face and you've got to be enthused when those people, when you meet those people and talk to those people, because that's what's going to get them smiling and enthused in turn as well. All right, now this just isn't a good idea, and this is what I think people forget. This just isn't a good idea in common sense. It's beyond that. It's what you're paid to do. You're paid to smile and be enthusiastic about what it is that you're presenting and you're talking about. So number one, smile. Number two, be enthused. And then number three, be confident. Now, so many times I talk to salespeople myself and I see a big lack of confidence. As a matter of fact, I see a lack of confidence in more salespeople than I see confidence in salespeople. And where that almost always comes from is that they don't really know their product. All right, And if they do know their product, they don't know enough about their competition's product to handle the objections. Or they don't understand selling enough to know how to ask for the money and or handle objections, and so they're just not confident. If you're going to step in front of a customer, again, you have to step up with a big smile, you have to be enthusiastic, and you have to be confident about what it is you're going to be talking about and presenting and be prepared for everything. Now, how do you get prepared for everything? Here comes a bad word, one you're not going to like, but it's the only way that will give you it's the only thing that will truly give you confidence 
You have to study. You have to do your homework. You have to know your product inside and out, every aspect of it. I don't care if somebody, if you feel like nobody's ever going to ask you a question about this little part of it, you got to be prepared just in case one in a thousand does. And you not only have to be prepared and know your product, but you also have to know your competition's product. So if people start talking about that, you know how to respond. You also have to know what they're reading online. So it may require that you get online and do the same type of search as your people are so you know what they're reading before they get there. Education will give you more confidence if you understand what you're talking about and you understand your product better than anybody else. That gives you confidence. But come, get, get, get what goes with confidence, because sometimes you can be uh, confident yet stiff, is number four, you got to be relaxed. You got to be relaxed. You got to act like you've been there before. You got to act like when these people are asking you questions and telling, they're about the, telling, the, telling you about your needs that this isn't the first time that you've heard it. You've got to be calm, cool, and collected. Like, I've done this a billion times. You're in the right hands. I can get this solved for you. This won't be a problem. So again, the first four here, we have smile, be enthused, be confident, be relaxed, okay? And, and you got to know your product. This will help you with all, all of these things. And before I give you the final one of today, Number five, I want to tell you this. I've got a book here called What I've Learned from Attending Over 35 Indy 500s, and you got to get this book. If you're in selling, you're in leadership, management, you're a business owner, you got to get this book. It's got life lessons in it. It's going to show you how to be a better salesperson, how to be a better leader, and how to be a better manager. You can get it by going to thejeffcowan.com and ordering it there. It comes in paperback and it comes in uh, hardcover. You can go to amazon.com where you can get it in hardcover, paperback. You can also download it onto your reader, and here shortly you will even be able to get an audio version of it so you can listen to your car you got to get this book it's doing really really great if you're in sales maybe looking to, to make a change in, in the products you're representing or maybe you just got out of school and you want to get into sales but you haven't found the right place this book here write service write your own paycheck that's a great industry right there it's with the auto industry how to write service and how to make a hundred thousand dollars a year because here's what's cool about this book there are a lot of service advisors out there but over 80 percent of them make less than fifty per, than, than, than uh, sixty thousand dollars a year, but the ones who read my book and buy my videos and, and follow the processes make over six figures a year. You got to get this book, get the the, the 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 training program that goes with it, and I'm going to do something I usually don't do, and that is I'm going to talk about a friend of mine's book. His name is Chris uh, Saracino. He wrote a book called The Theory of Five. It, it's a, it's a very highly rated on Amazon. You got to read this book. It's a life changing book. Uh, I really love this. I like how he's how it's written, how he tells the stories and he gets his points across. As a matter of fact, Amazon considered it one of their number one bestsellers almost right out of the gate. You know, so these three books right here and you say, Jeff, I can only get one. Which one do I buy first? Well, buy mine first. I mean, is Chris here doing the podcast? No. But if you're going to buy three books, I would definitely get his. It's a good book. So back to this right here. we got one more I want to cover today, and then, we'll get it, and then uh, I'll let you go, and we'll come back next week with the final three. So we're going to do the first five of the eight. The first one, you remember, was Smile. Then two was Be Enthused. Three was Be Confident. And I just discussed how that confidence will come from you knowing your product inside and out, your competitions, knowing what people are reading on the Internet. That's where the confidence comes from. But be relaxed. So you don't look cocky, you know, like, you, like you're too much. you got to be relaxed like you've been there before. And no matter what they ask you, you're not surprised. Nothing stuns you. And the number five, the final one we'll cover today, is gain eye contact. Now, this is almost a lost art. You know, we've got, we, we've become a, 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 not just a society, worldwide. You know, I've been lucky enough here recently to travel outside the country to, to, to Canada and Europe all over there and whatever, and everybody's into this cell phone thing. Everybody's used to staring down at this phone, staring at their tablets, staring at their computers, texting and emailing and communicating that way that they've forgotten how powerful eye, con eye contact is. Eye contact shows your people that you're honest, shows that you care, shows that you're listening, shows that you're in command, shows that you're in control, and shows that you know what you're talking about. Now, I, I find this one of the, the things, you know, I used to almost never, when I got a new salesperson, have to talk about this very much because everybody just understood it was such a basic rule. But today, it's one of the things I have to hammer the hardest because so few people are used to doing it. And if you're not used to making eye contact, even if you're the salesperson, it can be intimidating to look into another person 
person's eyes, but you got to train yourself and to be comfortable with looking people in the eye when you're talking to them, and even more importantly, when they're talking to you. If you want them to know that you care, that you're trying to understand, and that you can be helpful, you got to make that eye contact and maintain that eye contact all throughout your presentation. So there's the first five of eight steps we're going to talk about on how to make a great first impression. Again, it is to smile. This isn't, now these just aren't good ideas and be something to be nice if you could pull off. These are what you're paid to do. You're paid to make a great first impression so people listen to your presentation, get excited about your presentation, and want to buy from you so you can make the sale and earn the commission. So number one, smile. Number two, be enthused. Number three, be be confident, and you get that from education of your product. Number four, be relaxed. And number five, gain eye contact. And like I said, there's a total of eight of these. I'm out of time, so I'll come back next week and give you the final three. But between now and then, okay, go out and start working on how to make a great first impression that stuns people. It gets people excited, excited about you and your product. I want you to go out and find as many people as you can and do that so they get so excited about your product that they buy your product, you make a bunch of commission, and you get to live the life that you so deserve because between now and next week, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's what I've been doing all week. It's what I've been doing all day. It's what, I do, what I'm going to do as soon as I turn this camera off. I love what I do and you should too. See you next week. My name is The Jeff Cowan coming to you from thejeffcowan.com. Tell all your friends about me. Get them signed on. Let's go. Let's rock and roll this thing. Have a good day.